Hello and welcome back. I've done a short video about the general operation of the Fetford three-way fridge and the fitting of external winter vent covers. So to start with, to turn the fridge on, you have to press and hold the on-off button. And to turn it off, you press and hold. The first thing we'll look at is the power source. Well, it's a three-way fridge, meaning you can run it in three different ways. Number one, 230 volt AC mains. Number two, 12 volt DC, which is a tow vehicle. And number three, gas. And there's also an auto setting. That means it selects the power source in order of priority. Well, I'll demonstrate first is the auto setting. The order of priority is 230 volt mains, 12 volt DC and gas. We're on site and we're connected to mains and the gas has turned on. What I'm gonna do is disconnect the bollard. Now, because the car's not connected, which is priority number two, it will automatically then select priority number three, which is gas. And you'll see that on the display. I'll disconnect the mains from the bollard. I'll plug the mains back in and it'll change from gas to mains. I'll disconnect the mains again and it'll automatically select gas because the car's not connected and running. I'll connect the car up and start the engine up, then the fridge should change from priority three, which is gas, onto priority two, which is 12 volt. The car's running. What I'm gonna do now is plug the mains back in and it should change from priority number two to priority number one, which is mains. So they are the functions of the auto mode. What I'll do now is switch off auto. Now it's in manual. What I'm going to do is switch off the mains at the bollard. It will not select gas because it's in manual mode and the display will start flashing with an error. If I manually select 12 volt, it'll show error because the car's not connected, but it will let me select gas because the gas is turned on. That's 12 volt, error six, but I can select gas. On the cooling level selection, there are five levels. Two, three, four, five. In the instruction manual, it suggests selecting level three when the ambient temperature is between 15 and 25 degrees C. Well, I've got it on level two because this week the temperature's been between 10 and 12 degrees. Above 25 degrees, you can up the level to four or five, but if the ambient temperature is even higher, you can go one step further and have the fridge ventilator kit fitted. Here's the ventilator. Well, I'll put a link at the end of the video and you can watch me fit the ventilator kit to this fridge. If you're going to use your fridge in temperatures below 10 degrees, the instruction book advises you to fit external vent covers. Maybe this is something I should look into. Fast forward a few days and I bought myself a couple of these fridge grill winter vent covers. That's what they are. I'll get them out of the packs and we'll have a look at them. So this is what it looks like. The louvers are all closed off, blanked off. And at the bottom, at the back, are two moulded hooks, one there and one there. They hook over this bottom louver and the top clicks in place with these clips here. As you can see that. So I'll hook it over the bottom, centralise it and press it in place. 
That's it. And that leaves the bottom louver open and the top louver open. I'll get the bottom one on, hook it on the bottom louver, centralise it and press to clip it in. Obviously, the back of the fridge still needs that little bit of air movement behind it. That's why you've still got these open slots. And it also allows you to run the fridge on gas because the fumes from the chimney off the burner can escape through these open slots. To take the covers off, I'm going to use a two pence piece because you get good leverage with that. Gently pull the top, slot the two pence in above the clip and lever up. Slide along and lever up and it's off. I'll take the bottom one off now. Just put the two pence in there and just lever up like that. I'll show you the burner chimney while we're here. Take that grill off, take the fly screen off. In fact, we'll, we'll get in a bit closer. That's the burner chimney. Earlier I said the instruction book says use the winter vent covers when the outside temperature is below 10 degrees. I don't know if you can see that. It's there. But the Thetford website says we advise using winter covers on the ventilation grills from 8 degrees C and below to ensure optimum performance. And the instructions that come with the covers say use them below six degrees. Bit of a contradiction there. Well, when we've been winter caravanning, I don't appear to have had any problems with the fridge. But what I'll do next winter is stick with the instruction leaflet and fit the covers when the outside temperature is below six. And we'll see if it makes any difference to the fridge performance. I'll show you the full instruction leaflet. You can fit the covers to your motor or more caravan if you're storing it in winter. Fit them if you're washing it. There's some safety advice there. Warranty and fitting. I would imagine fridges from other manufacturers work in a similar way with the auto setting and the grill covers. So I hope you found the contents of this video useful and hope to see you on the next video. So bye for now.